So I'm getting dressed this morning, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I, I, what, what is this shit? I, I, don't, I don't want this. You know what I need? I need this. My handy dandy binder. Yeah, that's right. Let's do this shit. Ready for my day. Sleek, flat, boobless. Ch -ch. Hey guys, Adele here, which of course means it's Tuesday again. Um, you just watched me put on my binder. Um, and it might have seemed like it took an awkwardly large amount of this video to do that. That's kind of the point. I really wanted to show that Putting on a binder is difficult and it takes a long time. You know, when I was looking at um, getting a binder and trying to figure out what I wanted and what I should know, I read a lot of good advice like don't wear it longer than eight hours, make sure to breathe deeply while you're wearing it. That sort of thing is really good to know, but I never really understood like what's the experience of putting one of these things on. Um, I've actually gotten a lot better at it than I used to be, so, um, just a month ago that would have been a longer, more awkward, more difficult experience for both of us. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you do plan on wearing a binder and you're like a newbie, I really recommend just adding like an extra five minutes to your morning routine. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're someone like me who spends like 15 minutes and then you're, you're, you know, you're ready to go, then got it all planned out, you get your clothes on and bam, here we go. That extra five minutes can add a lot and unless you're planning on it, it can take a lot of time. But, you know, it's really worth it. If you need to wear a binder to feel good about yourself, then do that. It's cool. Yeah. See you next week. More gun hands. Yeah.